There's a lot of stuff people are afraid of. How about God? You afraid of God? Fear of God? People are afraid of God. They're fear of God. God will smite us. There's a word you don't hear often outside of church. Smite. Anybody ever say that? Smite you might hear. If you do that, your wife's going to get mad. She might. But <laughs> smite, you don't hear. Punish us. God will punish us. You, you better love him or he will burn you in hell forever. What is that? And a lot of it has to, you know, we, we do a lot of Christian words and ways that we phrase things that lead us to that somewhat. I surrendered to God. I bow down before God. Like he's a conquering dictator that you have to grovel before. Oh yeah, I better serve him. Yeah, yeah, I better please him. I better do things to show my fear of him. I better, I better go to church. I better serve on the dream team. I better pray. I better sing the songs. I, I better give to the poor. I, I better read my Bible. Look, these are not bad things to do. These are wonderful, fantastic, great things to do. But if you're doing it, out of fear, out of punish, fear of punishment of what will happen to you if you don't do it, you're doing them for the wrong reason. Jesus said, you carefully study the scriptures because they th you think they give you eternal life. They do, in fact, tell about me, but you refuse to come to me to have that life. It's not the doing. It's the relationship that counts. We should do all those things that I mentioned, absolutely, but we should do them out of love for God, not fear of punishment. In a marriage, you get the marriage vows, it's will you love and obey? Love and obey. Love always comes first before obey, because if you try to obey before loving somebody, it's too hard that way. You have to love out of obey. I, I don't flirt with other women or fool around on my wife not because I'm afraid I'm going to get caught and punished, but because I love my wife. And it's easy not to do those things because of the love. I can obey easily because of the love. Same thing with God. And there's no reason to fear. Fear. The disciple John said, where God's love is, there is no fear. I'll show you it again. Where God's love is, there is no fear because God's perfect love dries out fear. It is punishment that makes a person fear. So love is not made perfect in the person who fears. What are you afraid? Are you afraid of punishment? Are you afraid the hammer of God will fall down on you? Well, you know what? The hammer of God already fell and it landed on Jesus. He took it for us. So we don't have to fear that anymore. Jesus himself said it in his final words. He said, it is finished. 